Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3 and our tale of the Twin Moons, where we are here with Parsley, our Dark Moon, the larger of the two siblings, who has always been a bit of a, um, kind of a bit of a muscly wolf, because she really had quite a bit on her when she was younger in terms of size and strength, and oh my goodness, did we actually end up passing up the territory scent marker that we're looking for? <gasps> there it is! All right! And our strong, powerful Dark Moon, Parsley, is currently working on, ironically, Azor. Azor, you're just... He's, that's a unique way to lay our scent marker all over the place, Azor. You, you probably don't want... You did not want to be rolling right at that time, but I'm not going to question you. But here we are with Parsley, who ironically is working on the exact same mission that her brother... Achilles is in taking over almost the exact same spots from the Dark Moon pack, which is not exactly what I wanted. I wanted them both to have their own unique stories. So Parsley is about to have a dream from the ancestors, we'll say, that will hopefully guide her in an entirely new way as soon as we at least steal these few spots that we can take. All right, almost there. And you know what? We'll start heading down to the south just a little bit because if they've got weaker territory down there that we could take, we absolutely should. Also, oh, nope, those bison are good. I thought that was a bison carcass for like a split second and I thought we were about to have an absolute feast, but that is not the case, my friends. But all right, so if you guys remember last time, Parsley and her pack actually dealt with the Dark Moon pack invading their den and trying to make off with a couple of our puppies. I didn't really notice which puppy was actually most at risk, be it Marigold the second, or third, pardon me, Hawk, Owlet, Thorn, or Basil that time. But if you guys noticed which puppy seemed to be the one that the Dark Lake packs were going after, or puppies in case it was a couple of them, do please let me know because that adds quite a bit of drama to our entire expedition here and we're still really struggling with hawk the runt getting big enough that we can actually help our puppies grow parsley is thinking that her pups need to be able to move from den to den in order to become stronger and bigger and to make sure that she gets an opportunity to do something a little bit different than her brother who's like kind of taking over the same parts of the same territory for crevice lake we're going to say that next time parsley goes to sleep she's actually going to have a very special dream my friends a dream of the mountains to the north she wants to strike after all right at the heart of the Dark Lake territory. And it seems this section of meadows down to the south is merely their hunting grounds. So that is not where we are going to be keeping Parsley. Instead, we're gonna start sending her up to the north and we're gonna see if we can take over Buffalo Fork Pass. That's where we're gonna say the den is for the Dark Lake pack. And we're gonna to try to make a mission out of her life of finding where the Dark Lake pack's den, like a den basically up here is. And if we do that, I'm thinking we'll go ahead and we might start a new thing where we will give our wolves a chance to kind of make a legacy of their own by earning a bit of fame. All right, we're gonna wiggle between the bison. Parsley is not scared of no bison. But we might try to start coming up with fun ways where we can give our wolves a lifetime challenge that they go after. And if they can complete it, they can earn a special spot of fame in our family tree for our wolves. If you guys check out the video description, you'll actually see a link to our wiki. And that wiki has just generations of different moon pack members. And I mean, it's one thing to just be successful. All right, mule deer around here, totally cool. Totally going to be our mule deer if we want to hunt them. Stealing from their the Dark Lake Pack's hunting grounds and making it our own. And then going straight to their den definitely sounds like attacking both the stomach and the head of the snake of that pack that we want to get rid of, as they say. But we do have generations of wolves who have actually been part... Oh, are we like... We're straddling two territories. That's what's going on. There we go. All right. Excellent. 
In fact, I wonder, here's an idea I need to write down. Here, I'm going to write it down in my joy journal right now so I don't forget. But we might start assigning uh, like fame points to our different wolf packs. And a lot of you guys I see in the comments play generationally as well. We actually have a big group of people in our Patreon and Twitch subscriber Discord hanging out in the Discord area all the time talking about their wolves. And I know they definitely play generationally. Sometimes they'll like share each other's pictures to like vote on which wolves they want to see go forward. Ren is Ren and Jack are definitely like two of the people who are sharing the most amazing wolf packs and genetics. I'm so envious. But here's an idea for you other generational players like me. What if when you finally finish getting your pups fed up at the summer hunting grounds, you count how many hexes you have covered so that you can call that like a certain level of strength for that generation of the pack. And then you could give them kind of a fame value. And for us being part of the moon pack, I would say that the moon pack actually it becomes like that that wolf generation we'd say like that's how brightly their star shines in the starry skies of the moon pack's legacy so for parsley i like the idea of giving her a lifetime challenge of taking over the buffalo fork pass and then also finding a den somewhere around there and that would like immediately bump her up a fame level and then if you can have maybe a certain number of hexes done and ke like kept all your pups alive, then maybe those could be more fame levels too. And maybe you could add fame levels for like taking out really tough prey, for playing on certain difficulty levels the whole time. I think that could be a lot of fun. Just come up with fun ways that you can add more story to all this. That's what I'm always doing. All right, let me put that down in my little notes really quickly, friends. So we're going to do Wolf Quest fame missions, wolf quest fame missions. And that is actually going to be related to how brightly their star shines, how brightly their star shines. I'm writing it down literally as I'm talking. Their star shines in history. And I think that could be fun because then you could be like they're, they're bronze, silver, or gold <laughs> or whatever you want to use. All right. Enough housekeeping. I've been doing a lot of streaming over on Twitch and we have been doing a lot of this fantastic role play and story planning. And if you guys aren't here for the role play, I'm not sure why you're here, but I do hope you're having a good time. So if you're always looking for ways where you can take a game that, oh, there's a den nearby. It's probably literally the same den that, that Achilles has used and or is using. So Ironically, it could be like we smelled our brother in his den, but he's so far away from our own dens, maybe we're not worried about that. All right, let's go ahead and mark here. There, yes! Yeah, Parsley, I think, has zero interest in actually having a den all this far, like, distance away. But let's actually take out these last spots over here from the other pack. That's totally something she would do. And let's see if she's hungry enough to go ahead and eat this chunk of meat all the way almost okay not hungry enough to eat it all the way and now let's go east take out more of their spots Whoa! no way that's a mama bear it is a bison <gasps> okay i take it back I take it back. If we manage to steal a bison kill from a mama bear, maybe this is good hunting territory. Look, you can actually see the herd of elk down there too. All right, maybe this actually is some pretty good hunting territory. We shouldn't, oh, look at the way the bird wings are in the background there. And we shouldn't dismiss it out of hand, <laughs> especially if she doesn't mind the run. Wow. We can go ahead and bring some bison back to our babies for the first time. I think they might like that. And there's like a den really close by. Look, the elk herd. I wonder who took out the bison. Maybe he was just old. All right, there is a den really close. All right, that's it. Now our curiosity is up, especially when there's so many elk nearby. Let's see. Is the den this direction? With the elk herd? Woo! Okay, we're gonna dodge the elk. I don't wanna get kicked. Azor is probably so confused about this like turn of events. All right, and the den is gonna be in this direction. Can I smell it? 
It's probably the same one that her brother is using. And if not, he should have discovered a den this close to the territory that he meanders. There's another one of the bison. Wow. On the one hand, whoever hunted these bison, we probably don't want to run into because they're probably super strong. But on the other hand, if we could steal their kills, like, I think Parsley likes the taste of bison. That's something else I need to put down in, like, her notes in her wiki. All right, there. We're kind of losing the track of the den that's nearby, but I again, I don't think she really cares about dens that are terribly far away from the spots that she wants to hunt in. Well, the spots that she wants to control. I don't think she minds hunting in this area now at all, especially because there's a lot, a lot to be found. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like the Dark Lake Pack enjoyed the view here. We'll just go ahead and take that from them. No problem. And we'll go down south and maybe follow the river for just a minute. Yeah, we're practically... Look, there it is! This is literally the same den! Right here! <laughs> that her brother is currently using! Pretty darn sure, at least. Or it's one almost identical to it. In fact, I'm pretty sure this is the same den. So we'll go ahead and say that she, like, smells her brother here and just doesn't want to stay in the area. Because she doesn't mind giving him a little space. He's nowhere near where she's going to be called towards and feel pulled towards. But bison, man! Bringing back bison? Good job, Parsley. Doesn't smell anything else around here. Now I feel like we have a family obligation to go ahead and help out with marking for the moon pack. Since apparently our brother is nearby. And we will send Parsley to a totally different area. Don't worry, guys. We'll keep the story fresh and moving that way. And also, I discussed this... Woo! Foxes? Deer? Awesome. I did discuss this with those of you who are with us for our Dawn Moon Achilles yesterday. But I am thinking about going ahead and starting off the whims of fate. So the, the path of fate may start playing themselves out in our pack with the moon pack by rolling a dice every day and using that dice to determine the difficulty level that we play on for that day. Some days might be very easy and we'll have a less challenging time of it than usual. And some days might end up being extremely difficult. We might find ourselves, yes, look at all that territory we've claimed away from them. I think that we're actually making them like the smallest pack left. Whew, the Junction Buttes are the biggest pack. Maybe that's another thing you could do as a fame point, too, is actually say, like, if you end up first, second, third, or fourth in pack size, or, well, not in terms of, like, number of wolves, but pack territory size, and you could give yourself another little, another little point for that. I love it. But in the interest of keeping things as exciting as possible, we will let the Hands of Fate reach in, and affect whether or not Parsley or Achilles have to have a challenge, a easy day as a life of a wolf where they can feel really carefree. We might spend a lot of time with our puppies or working on the personal quest that the different wolves inherit when we are having an easy day, or if they might end up with a challenging day, which is the level, the middle difficulty level and what we're currently playing on. Oh, one more, one more. We've got this, yes. No more dark lakes to the south. All right. Take that, you guys. You're gonna get out of here. And now we'll head back to the den. Oh, that's beautiful. I love it. I absolutely love it. I wish it was a little stronger because it's not the best. It's not the best sense of control for this whole area, but that's okay. We'll see if we can hit up the scent post on our way home. Oh, I'm so excited for her. I'm really looking forward to being able to have kind of like a lifetime aspiration or mission for our different wolves that will give them an opportunity to really delve deeper into their own stories, which will be really, really fun. And giving them some sort of system where we can kind of rem not only remember the unique stories that each pack leader had during their generation, but we might also have a chance 
to differentiate them from one another by saying that some of the members of our pack are a little more famous than others because they were able to have a bigger territory. They raised more numbers of puppies through the summer hunting ground because they were able to defeat illness because they were able to maybe take out one of their rival wolf pack members, like actually take out another wolf, which we haven't managed to do yet. We can never catch up to them. <laughs> or maybe they were able to take out a bison, giving them kind of like a, a way to evaluate the fame of that particular leader of that generation would be a really satisfying thing to do so that we could enjoy exploring their stories even more. So if you guys have ideas on a different quest that we could give our wolves to be able to fill out their lifetime aspiration, or if you have ideas that you just want to share with everybody, because so many of you are generational players, or if you have other quirks that you have done to be able to really stretch out these stories of the wolf packs and make them transform into something amazing and unique and different, then do please leave those in the comments down below. Do we know that den? Yes, we know there is a den right there. But I'm looking forward to this. I'm really excited. We're gonna get away from my babies. Good, you hear Azor, he's growling in the background. There were so many freaking coyotes next to, like, way too close to our den for comfort. I'm not going to put up with that. We're going to make sure that they stay out of the area. But all right, let's get back to our den. And if you guys could, do please leave a like for the sheer excitement of using our imaginations, curiosity, and creativity to transform our stories even more into something special that we can really love and watch grow so it's always fresh and interesting and new and dynamic. And yay, Alan has popped out first with an exhausted parsley here, ready to feed everybody. Where is Hawk? Hawk, food, straight down the gullet. There you go. Eat, eat, son. <laughs> and if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.